life, wisdom. Hi, yogis. Welcome to Yoga with Cindy. Today, we will be exploring Hanumanasana, or monkey pose, otherwise known as the splits. So today, I have Donnie and Donna (laughs) with me today. I get them confused all the time. Donna, Donnie. All right. So (laughs) we're going to begin um, by just going into a forward fold, and this is just to open up the adductors, the hamstrings, and the quads. So what I like to do is take one of my many blankets here, and you will need four blankets for this practice today. Um, Or pillows, or whatever you happen to have around, a stack of clothes, dog, cat, you know, whatever. Um, (laughs) So I'm gonna take this blanket and put it beneath my sitting bones. And this is so there's correct alignment within the lumbar spine as we begin to forward fold, and it allows us to sit with more steadiness and ease. So I'm just going to extend my legs out in front of me, and then we'll flex the feet and point the toes just to kind of warm up the legs and the feet. I'm going to inhale the arms up, pull up out of the side body as I fold forward, drawing the belly button towards the thighs, reaching out in front of me, placing the palms of my hands onto the toes, the ankles, or the shins. So here I'm going to breathe deeply into the low belly, and then exhale to allow myself to fold forward. If you're feeling any tension in the back of the knees, go ahead and bend your knees by drawing the heels closer to the buttocks and just lowering down over those bent knees, maybe pointing and flexing the toes. Here, let's inhale with a flat back, pulling the shoulders down the back, and then exhale to fold forward. Beautiful. We'll do this a few more times just finding an openness, breathing into opening. Exhaling to fall deeper into the asana or the posture. One more time, inhale up. Exhale to lower. Hang out here for a few breaths. Once again, inviting opening, letting go of any expectation. As we explore the splits or Hanumanasana today, you will find that you will have to cultivate a sense of compassion for yourself. You will have to allow yourself to be where you are at and know that it is okay. So we're going to roll up the spine one vertebrae at a time, coming to sit in an L shape. Once again, checking in with your posture, moving around as needed, becoming comfortable in the stance. So take the uh, left sole of the foot and place it on the inside of the right leg or the adductors. Inhale the hands up, and then once again, fold forward over the extended leg. You can grab the toes, the ankle, or the shins, or even take the hands around the foot and grab wrist as you pull yourself forward to open, lowering the head towards the knee, and the belly button towards the thigh as you pull forward, really feeling that openness happen in the back and sides and top of the leg. Breathe in here, once again, exploring that sense of compassion for yourself, backing up if you need to, not striving to find a particular pose or what you think something should look like. Just allowing the openness to occur. And we'll walk the hands back, rolling the spine up one vertebrae at a time. Shake that leg out. And then we'll extend the left leg out, pulling the right bottom of the foot into the inner left thigh. Once again, inhaling the palms up, reaching forward, feeling a nice stretch and lowering the palms wherever they may fall. And then lowering the crown of the head towards the leg. We do wanna focus on drawing the hips back at all times. We wanna draw the left hip back, creating a nice elongation of the left leg. Breathing here, once again, coming back to that intention of compassion for yourself today. And then walk the palms back up, rolling up the spine. We can shake both legs out. And this time we're gonna draw both uh, soles of the feet together, coming into Bodhi Konasana or butterfly pose. So oftentimes we wanna pull our body forward, our head, getting our head to our toes and rounding down, but we really want to pull the belly button towards the heels. 
So if you're feeling any tightness in, in the legs, in the quadriceps or the adductors, we're gonna place blankets on the outsides of the knees. And then just kind of settle into your seat here, <laughs> shaking it out. Once again, we're going to inhale the palms up, draw them through heart center. And then as we draw the belly button towards the heels, we'll begin to extend the chest open, really finding an openness on the inner thighs. And then wh wherever you feel this openness, you, you may have to wiggle into it, drawing your um, pelvis closer to your heels, maybe pushing down on the knees and then release the palms in front of you and just allow this opening to happen. Then here, let's walk the palms back. Well, we're actually gonna place our palms onto the knees, making a little box with the elbows and begin to lean forward, maybe making a dance of it, pushing one knee out and then the other rolling side to side really opening up that inner thigh. <laughs> Good job, ladies. And then maybe taking your palms, fingertips touching with the, with the bottom of the palms face down, leaning forward and placing the outside of the palms around the feet and pushing as you pull yourself in. The elbows are pointing out in front of you and you're lifting the big toes towards your heart space. And now maybe you can begin to drop the crown of the head towards the toes. And we're creating space between the shoulder blades here as we do this. And this may create some pretty wild sensations in the hips, but that's okay. It means that we're creating openness. If it's too much, please come out of it. Always listen to your body. And then we'll just roll back up out of this. Maybe shaking it out, really noticing the changes that we've just made in the body. And let's go ahead and stack our blankets back up. Push them off the mat for now. I'm just gonna roll on to hands and knees, coming to all fours. I'm just gonna take a couple of cat-cow motions in order to lubricate and open up the spine. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under and look towards the belly button one more time. Inhale, drop the belly and tuck the tailbone under and drop the head. Good. And here we'll come to a neutral spine. We'll extend the right leg out behind us, making sure to keep our hips square and level and then draw that knee in towards the chest and as quietly and softly as we can, walk that foot through into a low lunge. And here we're actually going to push back through the left toes, lifting that heel up off the ground, pushing back out through that heel, and then we'll walk the right foot out to the very edge of the mat. Maybe you have to adjust here and that's okay. We just wanna find an opening in the psoas region on both inner and outer thighs. So <laughs> we're gonna walk the palms underneath the shoulders and you may need to drop that back knee back down here and that is okay. We can stay here, begin to just open up the, open up the, the inner thighs wiggling within this asana. This is called lizard pose. This is a really great opener for the adductors, for the inner thighs really opening up. And here we, we can even place our blankets in a stack beneath our pelvis just to kind of sink into our, to our edge. We really want to play our edge here without going too far. And melt into this hold here. And if you are already really flexible and you want to get more opening here, you can take your blankets and place them in front of you and bring your arms so your fingertips are facing the front of the mat and just lean in. Try to keep a straight back here, extending the crown of the head towards the front of the room. Good. A few more breaths here. And we'll place the palms back on the floor and push ourselves back up, kicking the right leg or the left leg, the right leg back <laughs> onto hands and knees. And we'll extend the left leg back, draw it into the chest, and then silently and with as much control as you can, place it in front of you, coming to a low lunge. Once again, walking the left foot out to the very edge of the mat and finding your edge using your props as needed. Stacking your blankets, really sinking into this. 
Once again, cultivating compassion for yourself, acceptance of where you're at today. This is tough stuff. Splits are no joke, but you guys are gonna do it. Just have to practice. We call yoga a practice for a reason. Trust me, I didn't just wake up and like do a handstand one day. <laughs> it took practice. You have to really be okay with your limitations. And then lower down a little deeper if you'd like, keeping the back straight, reaching the crown of your head forward. The back toes are tucked under or extended, whichever one is most comfortable and safe for your knees. Place the palms onto the mat and push yourself back up, swinging that right, the left foot back into tabletop. And from here, we're going to come into uh, a low lunge again, extending the right leg back, bringing it forward quietly and with control. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, pull the palms through heart center and take the fingers, interlace them and press into that right knee, leaning in, really feeling a nice deep opening in the right thigh and the left inner thigh. So here, we really wanna keep our hips square, tilted forward, beautiful. We wanna push down deep so we feel a nice stretch up the back of the leg. It's really, really important to keep the hips square here. We can do this and fall into it, but that's not safe for our bodies at all. We're gonna hurt ourselves that way. So come back up, and this time we're going to flex the front foot, drawing the right hip back and folding over the front leg. Now your forehead does not have to come all the way to your knee. Nothing has to come all the way to the leg. You play your edge, you stop where you need to stop, and you open up, you listen to your body. Your body, your practice, your yoga. You definitely want to breathe into it because breathing promotes openness of the muscles. Walk the palms back forward, come to a half lunge, and then once again, lean in to that right leg. Opening up, you can even place the palms up top. And if you like, we can twist in to find a deeper opening in the front leg, in the front thigh. Or you can stay where you were at. You don't have to twist at all. Once again, listen to your body. Come back up. And this time we're going to place the blankets underneath the psoas region, underneath the thighs. I do recommend starting with a high stack. And we're going to draw the right hip back just like we did before. But this time we're going to lift up the back knee and begin to just push the foot back, wiggling it back, maybe pushing the right heel forward until we come into Hanumanasana. The back foot can be pointed or flex whatever is safest for your knee, whatever feels the best. Good. We want to make sure here once again to square the hips. We want to pull up out of the side body. So let's extend our arms up and make sure that we're comfortable where we're at. If you need more support, please find more support. Just place another blanket or pillow underneath your psoas. And look at us, we're doing the splits. This does count as the splits, it does. Beautiful, guys. And we're gonna release the palms back to the earth. And we're just gonna gently come out of it, pulling the right foot back into a low lunge, removing the blankets. And coming back to hands and knees, extending the left leg back behind us, and then pulling it through quietly with control. Extending the arms up. And interlacing the fingertips, placing them on top of the knee and pushing down, opening up that back thigh, sinking in, dropping the hips in, opening the hips. <laughs> and then come back to neutral and draw the right, the left hip back as we extend the left foot, pointing the toes up and fold over the left leg. Once again, finding your own openness, keeping the hips square. So the right, the left hip will have a tendency to kick out here. We really want to draw that back in, lining up the hips. 
Once again, being compassionate for yourself and accepting where you are at today. Coming back to your breath, always using your breath as a means of openness, as a way to connect with your body, with your goals. And we'll walk the hands back forward, bending the left knee once again, dropping the hips in, opening up. Beautiful. Dropping the back knee, sinking in. Can I get some smiles, ladies? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> and then place the palms back down, and once again, draw the left hip back, extending the left foot, falling over the leg, opening up. Walk the palms forward and come back to a neutral position. Grab your blankets and place them beneath your pelvic region. The taller the stack, the better at first, and this way we can begin to build up towards more openness. So once again, um, draw the left hip back and kind of sit on your blanket. Extend the right heel up and back and begin to open up and walk your heel back and forward, sliding onto those blankets. Once again, being mindful of the hips, squaring the hips. Um, the back toe can be tucked under. Good. And look guys, we're doing the splits. Hanumanasana, monkey pose, woo woo woo. Okay, now I'm singing songs, what the hey. Yoga's fun, see? <laughs> And then we'll just hang out here. And also, I wanted to show you guys that if you, if you would like, you can begin to remove blankets as you continue to practice getting into the splits and get closer and closer to the floor to do actual full splits, which you're actually doing right now. But if you really want to get down to the floor, you know, just start removing your blankets. All right. So we're going to begin to walk the back knee up mindfully, carefully bending the front knee and swing it back to hands and knees. And then we'll go ahead and release back into child's pose, placing the forehead to the earth. Remembering to breathe, to thank yourself for finding compassion today and allowing yourself to move maybe past your limitations or to stay within your limits. That is a very beautiful thing. So I'm gonna roll up. You ladies can stay where you're at and you can too. Thank you so much for coming to your mat today and for challenging yourself to try something new or inviting yourself to expand your knowledge on something you may have already known a little bit about, Hanumanasana, the splits. I really appreciate you. Please like this video so you can come back and watch it a few times a week to really work your way into the split so you can start removing one blanket at a time until you're all the way to the ground. Thank you so much. See you later, guys.